hey guys and welcome back to my channel pure black magic emphasis on the pure the black and the magic my name is d and i welcome you all to the card house series i always like to point out at the beginning of my readings that this is a channel of love light and spiritual insight so please do not waste your energy leaving any negativity in the comment section um, regarding black magic or dark magic in general because this is definitely not the space for that okay so this is going to be a reading for Scorpio um, and it's going to be a Bay T reading concerning you and your person, whoever you deem to be Bay, relationship, situationship, dating, um, however you want to categorize it. This is for you and that particular person. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. That's totally fine. Um, parts of the story might resonate, parts of the story might not. If it does not, just leave it to the next person. Um, I am totally okay with that. If you are looking for something um, a bit more personal, information regarding that is going to be in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so via Cash App. That's going to be Cash Sign Pure Black magic okay um so we have the world card i'm gonna put it back in the deck but um this has popped out for you scorpio so um i'm actually kind of getting your energy with this because the world is typically about cycles like the ending to one cycle um and the beginning to the next cycle um so i'm getting like death card energy which is represented by your sign scorpio so you and your partner could be transitioning through something right now um but let's see what comes out in the reading spirit please give me some cards for scorpio and their person i will pull your energy scorpio your persons and then a mutual energy so your energy scorpio all right we have the broken heart here your person's energy we have magician in the mirror um mutual energies we have a man holding a heart here um and again my intentions is this is for this to be your side scorpio this to be your partner and this is mutual if you see it fit to reverse the energies then go ahead and do so um at the bottom of the deck we have woman holding a coin here okay so yeah um you are feeling down and out heartbroken um disappointed about something scorpio could be pertaining to that that world card that was just pulled that beginning and ending to something um your partner is feeling like they can make something happen though they can fix something they can make something happen whatever you're feeling heartbroken about i feel like your partner's energy is um that they can balance things out this is giving me gemini virgo energy so that your partner could be one of those signs or have it highly aspected in their chart in the middle we have a man holding a heart here um so this could be your energy or your partner's energy um Maybe you're feeling heartbroken because you want your partner to be more open, more loving, more committed towards you in this relationship. Um, I feel like your partner is working on that side of themselves, working, trying to give it to you, give that to you. Um, but whatever energy has happened already um, or is happening is feeling you kind of heartbroken and kind of hopeless in this situation. Um because you both want this energy you want your partner to be in this energy your partner wants to be in this energy but for some reason that has not happened or there's you know conflict in that happening we have a woman holding a coin right here so hmm, i don't know if this energy is coming between you all if this energy is pertaining to your partner or to you, um, I'm getting earth energy again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, mm, woman holding a coin could be a man holding a coin. Man holding a heart could also be a woman holding a heart. So, take the energy where you see fit. But I feel like someone possibly maybe would just focus more so on their finances, um, focus on work focus on someone from work a boss or something of the sorts but we have three people here so i am kind of getting 
picking up on like a third party, a third person situation here, which could be why the broken heart is there. Maybe your person is trying to come in and apologize. Um, uh, maybe someone else is trying to heal your heart because they know your person has done something to make you feel this way or vice versa. Spirit, give me some cards to clarify broken heart for Scorpio. That is broken heart for Scorpio. Spirit, what is broken heart for Scorpio? Alright, so we got these two cards that popped out. Um, hmm. We have the lovers here, card number six, and then we have death and rebirth. This is the death card I was referring to um, at the beginning when the world card popped out and I was getting that energy for you, Scorpio. So it has made its face to the reading. Um, I feel like you're heartbroken. Now the lovers can be you and your person, but it's often um, described as like someone else as well. So that energy I was picking up on someone else in a relationship, it can be like a mistress, a third person, um, some sort of like infidelity or cheating. Um, whatever you are heartbroken about is pertaining to your person and someone else. Um, and then with the death and rebirth, I feel like it's either bringing it into your relationship and a beginning to you like healing and moving forward because it's kind of like this broken heart is being mended together um but there's some other energy here scorpio so you can be the male or the female um apply it how you see fit but i'm highly getting third party here some sort of third party here in a beard and it's causing like a ending um to the cycle with you and your person spirit what is magician and the mirror five of pentacles yeah i feel like your person has manifested this for the relationship or this for themselves your person is feeling five of pentacles left out in the cold like they can't get through to you they can't get in um which is possibly why this man holding a heart is here because they want to apologize about something that has happened um but i feel like they did this to themselves they manifested this situation so whatever's going on your person is at fault um or vice versa if this is you over here spirit what is man holding a heart we have the strength card yeah so your person is trying really really hard to apologize um they are very much so sorry we have um this could be a leo your person could be a leo or um, a virgo but i feel like your person is really trying hard to hold it together um here because they are feeling not so good about whatever has taken place here feeling really sh shitty about whatever has taken place here at the bottom of the deck we have the judgment card yeah so a judgment has been made i feel like you have made the decision to walk away from this person um i'm highly getting that whoever this woman holding a coin is is the person who has um come between you guys yeah behind that we have happy family and then woman holding a heart I feel like whoever this is could be towards Virgo Capricorn, could be a boss, your person's boss or someone they work with. Um, woman holding a coin. I'm picking up if your person has kids with someone else. This is the mother um, of their, their kid or their children. Um, they could have dipped back in this situation with this person um yeah especially with this happy family car and this woman holding a heart but this person was just there you know for the physical for the passion for the sex with your partner they really didn't want to um they i kind of feel like they just kind of wanted to dip in and dip out and your partner fell for some sort of tactic or something like that behind that we have the envy card yeah i feel like whoever whatever has gotten in between you and your person they were envious of what you had um behind that we have the door to romance yeah they were envious of the connection and they found some sort of way to finesse your person into doing some shit um that was heartbreaking for you so i am definitely sorry to hear that but 
Let me see. Let's go back around, see what comes out. Scorpio. So we had a flipper, Queen of Cups. All right. Yeah, I feel like you are strongly um, releasing something. And that's clarifying the death card, the ending of something, and the beginning, the rebirth of something else. Um, Queen of Cups energy, you are feeling very emotional right now, very much so heartbroken. Um, very much so just kind of throwing your hands up with this situation, this relationship, and wanting to move forward with your life. Um, and I do, I don't, I'm not getting that it includes whoever this energy is for you. Spirit, what is five of pentacles? We have the chariot. Okay. So the chariot is a card about movement. Um, yeah, your person is, I feel like they're moving towards you. I feel like if you have ended the relationship, um, I feel like they're charging towards you. Spirit, what is the chariot? Seven of Pentacles. High Priestess. Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want to, they are very sorry. They want to rebuild this. They want to work on this. Um, I feel like they want to get inside your head, though. We have this Nine of Wands, so I am picking up on player energy. Um, I feel like you have been formed or, or are hip to something that your person was doing, left them feeling out in the code, uh, but now they're determined to work on, I want to say manipulating you, because the Seven of Pentacles is about growing something, uh, but he has his hands here, like he's kind of like orchestrating something like a puppet. The Magician energy can be manipulative um, if it's paired with other cards, it can be very negative. Um, and then the high priestess came out right after that. So if you look at these cards, it's kind of like this person is working on manifesting or, manipula or manipulating how you feel about this situation, like your intuition. I feel like you intuitively know something that has happened, something that's going on with your person and someone else. Um, but your person has been cut off by you and they're working on coming back in, strategizing ways, getting very much so virgo energy and then pisces energy here um strategizing ways of how to like mind fuck you like pick your brain trying to like convince you that your intuition is not true especially with this knight of wands energy is very flighty energy in and out passionate energy player energy from one person to the next um so yeah that's what i'm picking up there spirit what is man holding the heart and strength card six of cups okay so yeah this person wants their family back um they want their relationship back with you even though i feel like they might have dipped into the past with someone else who they could have kids by um Yeah, what is Six of Cups? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Yeah, they feel like, they feel you are their wish fulfillment, but for some reason, they are still tied to or can't stop messing with someone else from the past. Um, and again, this could be the mother of their child or someone who is just money hungry. Um, maybe they are doing what they feel is necessary to keep this person pleased because they are highly in their pockets concerning the kids slash not concerning the kids um at the bottom of the deck we do have the eight of cups so this energy is about emotionally walking away from something um and i feel like this is you scorpio walking away from this entire situation walking away from whoever you know your partner was whoever this third party this other man this other woman was this is you emotionally walking away um, from the situation and then right down here behind the eight of cups we have the world card so yeah you are choosing to um 
this is the world card that popped out at the beginning of the reading you're choosing to end this cycle and start anew for yourself right behind that you have the eight of wands and it's in the reverse um which is crazy because this happened in one of the other readings i just did i can't remember um but typically i start all my cards out upright because i just don't believe in starting out with reversals it's some bullshit but um this is in a deck as reverse so the eight of wands is about communication with it being in the reverse you are choosing not to communicate you're choosing to walk away from this in this cycle start anew you're not communicating um you're no longer juggling the situation or being juggled yeah Ah, this is like the third reading that I have sensed a breakup for or a separation for today. Um, so I don't know if that's just a collective energy. I'm about to do a collective reading um, for you guys and kind of see what comes out. But yeah, it's crazy. Um, please don't hesitate to leave any comments in the comment section to let me know if or how this resonates with you um yeah that is all i have for you guys i see you walking away now oh, actually that's not all i have for you guys i got caught up in the middle of that whole situation <laughs> i feel like your person got caught up which is what's causing this separation somebody got caught up i think that's what i'm gonna title this video caught up I actually need to pull some wisdom oracle extra messages for you guys. Um, so, yes, yeah, Spirit, please give me three cards regarding Scorpio in this reading. Scorpio and the energy between them and their partner. Spirit, please give me three cards for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, so you have by the book. Your partner has breathe and mutual energy is peace. So yeah, your partner wants to make the peace. They want to apologize. They want to come in, hold in their heart, um, which has been carved out from his leg. They want to really give you this story of being apologetic, being sorry, making the peace between you. Again, I'm not picking up you know genuine authentic energy regarding that um regarding that in your partner um you have the by the book so yeah i feel like you want things to be right in this relationship like you want things you want your partner to be loyal truthful um open you don't want third parties you don't want to be mixed in with anybody else anything else this is what you want out of your life and because this person didn't give it to you you're gonna follow suit and leave the situation behind um with the breathe card here i feel like your person needs to take a break and really realize um what they have caused to manifest between you guys really sit with themselves um and figure out what or who they want because i feel like they're stuck between you and this other person um that's what i feel like the breathe card is indicating here and then at the bottom of the deck we have yang um so this is just all about masculine energy um i feel like your person has a large ego um very toxic masculinity is what i'm picking up here um and that could be rooted back to some of anything to be honest um also let me see that was the eight of cups here yeah also with this yang energy clarifying the woman holding the coin um yang is masculine energy is usually controlling energy i feel like this person has some sort of hold or control whoever this third party is over your person um but again you're choosing to walk away from the shit you are fed up um and you're choosing just to move forward and create balance in your life so that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.